If you first came to my channel, then subscribe and press the bell icon. Sea Angel Clione Lemorchina Clione Lemorchina, known as the Naked Sea Butterfly Sea Angel and common Clione, is a sea angel pelagic sea slug found from the surface to greater than 500 meters 1600 feet depth. 2. 3. It lives in the Arctic Ocean and cold regions of the North Atlantic Ocean. It was first described by Friedrich Martens in 1676 and became the first gymnosomatus without a shell pteropod to be described. Family Clionidae Scientific name Clionella mortina. Phylum Mollusca. Higher classification Clione. C. Angel Clionella mortina. Phipps 1774. The most common naked pteropod of Arctic water size. Larvae approximately 0.15 mm adults up to 4 cm color and characteristic spiral shaped body with paddle like lateral wings no external jolts transparent body with orange red coloration in the tail and horn like mouth elegant tentacles and hooks deployed during feeding reddish brown visceral mass is seen through the body wall several subspecies and forms Recognized with different shell shape and different polar, subpolar distribution habitat. Panoptic, bipolar and subpolar epipelagic, shallow dwelling, feeding an active swimmer. While hunting for its shelled pteropod prey, primarily Lemorchina helicina feeding apparatus. Consists of three pairs of buckle cones, finger like tentacles, two clusters of long hooks, and a toothed radular, a chainsaw lifetime, all normally hidden inside the head and body. Feeding apparatus is averted pushed out during feeding to extract the prey from there. Shells a well-feed animal has a large dark gut life cycle protandrous hermaphrodite males. First, females later, mating involves cross-fertilization 30 to 40 eggs later is oblong. Gelatinous egg strips, 1 to 1.2 mm long, newly hatched larvae have thimble-shaped shells. And a ciliated velar mirrored mouth shell is soon cast off in while changing to adult body. Form two ciliated rings lost are visible mid-body and near the tail generation times. Thought to be one year in the Arctic and perhaps two per years in the subarctic. 